So, uh, Frankles, <laughs> who's about to run me over in my truck, got himself into a little bit of a sticky situation. No, that's not my case tractor. Um, with the sprayer. So we're gonna wander over here, and I asked him, like, how stuck are you? Do we need a 516? Do we need a 720? Do we need a 930? Do we need the 4840 Burt? <laughs> or do we need the 1050? He said the 1050. 1050 it is! Actually, I have no idea why I just shut the camera off there. Personally, I love the old 4840 Burt. I would love to take this guy. But he's a little slow. The 1050 is fast. Let's fire this thing up. What is this, a code? Come on! Codes don't happen. <laughs> so if you're wondering, uh, why do we have the 4830? 4830, 30, I'm making up words, 4840, lined up here with all the fence, it's because we're actually gonna do a bit of a pullout between the 4840 and the uh, big old 1050. <laughs> I'm just joking. Nah, we didn't want to show up the 1050, so we were going to use the 516 instead. And I actually got through most of the video, but then it just started downpouring on us. So I'm like, okay, postponed it, and then I haven't had time since. Alright guys, here we go. Let's rock and roll this boat. <laughs> but seriously though, uh, the tractor of choice would have been the 4840 John Deere Burt. We call them Burt's. We got like a half a dozen of them kicking around. They're awesome tractors. Um, but the sprayer is about 8 miles away and I can do 34 miles an hour in the 1050 and I cannot do that in the old Burt. So I would rather get down there and get the job done because the wind's about to go down and we gotta get the sprayers functional again. Otherwise, if that sprayer would have been anywhere as close, it would have been that John Deere Burt to the rescue, that's all I have to say. And why am I taking the 1050 over say a 930? Well, the 1050 is mine, the 930s aren't, they're my brothers, so you take what's yours. That's how it works. Man, I really do love how these uh, 1050s drive. Like, it's so smooth. Like, I don't like how they pull, but I sure like how they drive. Quiet and smooth. Run in TMS mode. Love it. We're getting closer. You can see him. We're getting close. Ah, uh, Frankles. I think she slipped into the ditch a little bit there on you, good sir. I feel like I'm gonna have to back in there, good sir. Oh, this is gonna be easy. <laughs> oh man, that's hilarious. So he is empty by the way. That is my work truck, I just put my headache rack on just today. Where I got that installed anyway. So uh, this is what I call, you almost hit a deer because you were in the center of the road and obviously a deer must have ran across and whoop! That's what happens. <laughs> oh, that's funny. So we're actually backing up. There's Frankles on his roof. We actually have to uh, turn around and we'll back in. Okay? That's what we gotta do. Backity, backity, back. I think this is goes, gonna go down as an embarrassing stuck. Oh, by the way, I should update you guys on the stuck list. Shoot! I completely forgot to look at the list before I left. I'll try and update you on that at the end of the video, okay? Frankles, did you fall asleep? No, no. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. Time when uh, my pin has gone missing. What a gosh! Check my toolboxes here. No, it's not in that toolbox. But check this toolbox. 
Maybe we got something in here. We got nothing. Shoot! Oh, okay. Get down there. I wonder if I got something in my truck. Okay, so we didn't find a pin. We have a clavis, so what we've done is we just doubled up the strap. It's a great big gigantic strap. We have a one inch pin. Don't worry, the pin will hold just fine. If for some reason the strap was to pop the pin out with our little pin that we have down here, which there's a 99.9% .9 chance that won't happen. If it were to happen, it's just gonna elastic back, no issues because all the heavy ends are tied onto the sprayer. The problem arises, and this is how people get hurt and killed. Uh, we have our own stories to tell about that, hospital stories and whatnot, but anyway, is when you tie one heavy end to here, one clevis, the other still clevis to here, something breaks, something happens, and then it slingshots back like an elastic band, and you have this 10 pound hunk of steel on there. That's what takes heads off. You got them both tied up to that sprayer. This is not going anywhere. This strap is not going anywhere. To be quite honest with you, this, is, this sprayer is gonna pop out of here like an overly ripe pimple. I'm pretty sure the 4840 Burt would have no problem with this. I just didn't feel like bringing it down here. It's just too slow. I'm pretty sure that uh, Pennywise the Clown was hiding in this side of the ditch. Frankles came through here drinking his chocolate milk and all of a sudden the clown was like, Woo! And then Frank panicked and poof. Hey, don't be hard on Frankles. These things can happen even to the best of us. So we got a little bit of water around the wheels on both sides, no big deal. No big, this is not even, this shouldn't even be classified as a stuck, to be quite honest with you, but we're definitely gonna charge him as a stuck. Don't you worry, he's going on the stuck list. Are you ready, Frankles? I guess. Oh yeah, he's born ready. All right, let's pop him out of here. Let's get this show on the road. What was that, Frankles? I already unsubscribed. <laughs> You're already unsubscribed. <laughs> that hurts, Frankles. Are you ready to do this, or are we ready to dance? Like, I'm not much of a dancer, but I'm ready to dance. Just gonna send it. <laughs> We're just gonna send it. Yep, pedal button. Give ourselves just a little bit of RPM. Forward motion. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, look at that. Oh, I gotta get him over a little more. Boom, easy. I don't want him to run over my strap. It's kinda hard on my wheel. Come on. Come on, I can't get over anymore with the tractor. Oh, it's over dancing. Whoa, easy there. So, we're just gonna keep going here a little bit. Hold on, let me get situated. So, strap is awesome. We're doing good here. This is an easy, easy pull. It's like pulling my garden tractor. But the problem is, is that I can pull the 1050 over a little bit more, but I can't shorten that strap. A little bit of water here. By the way, we're just kind of making a little bit of drainage here for the ditch. No big deal. Well, the good news is, is uh, it's dry just up here, so we're just going to keep pulling a little bit more. We're just about out of this water, and uh, yeah, it's going to pop out like a pimple right over there. Let's get this done. Uh, I got a horse fly in here and it's kind of freaking me out, I'm not gonna lie. Ah! Ah! Sorry, I didn't mean to deafen you guys. Ooh. I just hate horse flies. Okay, put my fancy seat back. Get situated here. 
Oh, put it in gear, always works. Gear first. And then get over just a little bit more. Come on. Come on, Betsy. Come on there, little Betsy. Come on, little Betsy. You know you want to. You know you want it. Come on. Oh, yeah. to be quite an angle here. I can't get over anymore. It's muddy on this side. Oh yeah! Oh yeah! There it is! There it is! Woo! Okay, I'm gonna stop. Easy peasy. Life is breezy. I told you it was not gonna be a problem. Oh. All right. Easy peasy, Frankles! Wow! Easy peasy! Oh, we're gonna need a little wash this wheel. Ah, oh, they're cased though, they're built up. Well, we just made it so if you get a little bit too far over on that edge with a semi or something, you're just gonna really flip it. You're really gonna send it. You know, it wouldn't have been so bad if we didn't have pizza cutters. We got these pizza cutters on, and it would have been better if I could have got over on the other shoulder. But I almost got over a little too far there. And that's too close for me to be. I don't want to be on the stuck list any more than I am. So Frankel's is just on strapping. I'm gonna help him. Frankel rolls up the strap of shame. I actually don't want to say anything negative because, or rub it in. Because the year's far from over and I am bound to get an embarrassing stuck yet. All right, toe strap is rolled. I helped him, I threw it in my truck. Ah, let's go. All right, the sprayer took off in front of me. I got my truck following me back there somewhere. Let's get to getting. See if we can't gain on this sprayer. See who's faster. You got that sprayer wide open, Frankles? Oh uh, yeah, no. Uh, I was wondering, I'm like, I'm gaining on you. Oh, I, I, I It's not a race or anything, but... Oh, Scrap. mud balls are flying everywhere, you know, so... Great mud balls! Whoa! Ooh, this fan, uh, it's quite loud in here when you uh, turn on the AC to max. I'm turning this up just a little bit. There we go. You got that thing wide open now. Wide open, yeah. We're wide open. I think we're about the same. I'm doing 33.5. How fast are you going? 32. Ooh, I'm a little faster. Uh, Frankles, uh, there's a little bit of water out in the field to your right. You just might want to be careful you don't accidentally drive into that. <laughs> yeah, I should. You're right. I shouldn't have said anything. Now I'm gonna get a. Now I'm gonna get an embarrassing stuff. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh, I'll make my own YouTube video on it. Don't you worry. Well, well, mine will get more views. So. <laughs> so anyway, we just really love what we do around here. So uh, thanks for following us around. We're heading back to the farmyard. We're about eight miles away or so. And uh, hopefully we can have some more fun videos like this here in the future. I would like to do a couple of tug of war tests. Uh, maybe that 4840 versus my 1050 actually. No, I'm joking, I'm joking. Uh, but yeah, it'd be fun yeah, to do that. Like new truck dirty, go like that. Hey, don't get my new truck dirty. They know that I don't like that. All right, adios. Oh, I'm gonna send, I'm gonna give you that update on the stuck list as soon as I can. Okay, okay. All right, I'm sitting here with Frankles. Hello. And we were just looking at the stuck list. Uh, the little X means that it was already added and I shouldn't have added it, so that means we just crossed it off. So uh, Terry is leading the stuck at four. Then we have a tie between Jared at three and Ashton at three. And uh, Sam, Brian, and Rick. Those three do not have any stucks. 
So everybody dumps 20 bucks in and it's five bucks per stock unless you have to split. If we have to split a unit, then it's definitely 10 bucks. It could be even more depending on how bad it is. Then we will be drawing for a redeem card and the redeem card will be basically that person, say Sam, draws a redeem card. Everybody draws, but it's gonna be a secret and at the end of the year. So you wanna be friends with everybody, especially if you were Terry and are at four stocks already. Because if Sam got the redeem card, then she could redeem one stuck. We haven't drawn it yet. We haven't put all the rules out for it yet. We're not sure if we're, what happens if we're going to have a three-way tie. We've never had that happen before. And the stuck list does go till December 31st, 2020. And it started in January, January 1st, 2020. So it goes for one whole year because there's lots of mud stucks with sprayers, obviously, combines, drills, um, even... Uh, semi trucks getting into grain bags during the winter because snow stocks still count so it's over one course of a year okay you guys following all that and we will put in like a redeem card we might do some more fun stuff if we see a tie come in we might uh, maybe make it for two stocks or something but anyway we'll cross that bridge when we get there so the pot is roughly around 350 bucks as of right now all right this is just some fun stuff we like to have nice little for Patterson. ha Oh, and I forgot, the loser of the stuck pot at the end of the year cleans the shop bathroom. Not the most pleasant thing that you could do. The winner obviously gets the pot. So yeah, so we got lots of, the year's only half over guys, so we got lots of year, um, we're not too worried about who's leading and who's not because come winter, come fall, that can change very quickly. All right? All right. Yeah, we're changing the 930 hitch over here from that European ball. We're putting the, the Clavis-style North American back in. So, yeah, that's what we're doing. Thanks for tuning in, guys.